violinists welcome to pro Am strings i'm henriette and today we are going to be playing far from home now far from home is our first piece in a minor scale and it is in the key of g minor so what we're going to do first is we're going to learn the g minor scale and later on we'll look at the arpeggio before we look at far from home so a minor scale is a sadder sounding scale than a major scale of course the most important aspect of minor compared with major is that it sounds more sad whereas major sounds happier and why it sounds sad is that the third note of the scale has been lowered a little bit by this time i'm hoping that you can now dream the g major scale so when we play the first three notes of the g major scale we're going to go uh, whereas if I play a G minor scale, that third note is going to be a B flat. And that is the most striking difference between a major and a minor scale. There is another aspect to a minor scale because minor scales can have different endings at the top of the scale. Now, we are today going to learn the harmonic minor scale, which means that the seventh note of the scale, so that is the one before last, before the top note, is a raised note. So in this case, we're playing an F sharp as our seventh note. Now, shall we just wait, work out how that goes? So let's go slowly. Uh, we're playing every note once for now, just to get used to that scale. Okay, we're just playing up to the top of the scale, just one octave. And the arpeggio are G, B flat, D, G. I'll play it for you and then we can join it in together. So now you're properly warmed up to be playing Far From Home. I'll play it for you first. piece you've got that F sharp right at the beginning 
and we've noticed that was the raised seventh note in the scale of G minor. Um, so let's play it from the beginning and we'll go one notch more slowly, okay? I'll count us in for three. One, two, three. you to use the fourth finger like it's printed in your music but here you can play an open A string in bar 8 1, 2, 3 Now here in the next bar in bar 11 something else happens We are expecting there to be an F sharp and then an E flat but instead the composer has opted to change the E flat and turn it into an E natural. That sometimes happens uh, and this is called melodic minor. Um, but we don't need to worry about that. But, um, I'm happy if you have the harmonic minor scale in your head like we did it before. But just to point out for those of you who already are a little bit more advanced, we've got a bit of melodic minor here going on. <laughs> But there the E flat comes back. So let's try this bar again, bar 11. And. and when you play this bit, I suggest you put both fingers down together on the string, both the F sharp and the E. for me that is the high G in the middle of the bottom line we're counting that high G um, as three quavers so I'm counting one two three you may know that a dotted crotchet equals three quavers but if we subdivide that long note into three quavers we hold it for just about the right length of time here we go again 24 and one two three two things happening. First of all it says poco ritenuto, R-I-T is short for ritenuto and ritenuto means um, slow down, so poco means a little, slow down a little bit and then on the last note we see a pause and a pause means you can hold it for as long as you fancy. So make it a really nice ending, I'm going to go back to 24 one more time. One, two, three. down here and now hold this note for as long as you like and go a bit softer and that way you can polish that last note really beautifully so well done everyone let's play it one more time a little bit more quickly one two three
thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it. Write any comments in the comments box below. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye.